my testimony about my life, um, how everything started off. I first, uh, when I was a little girl, I grew up in this house right here on Prince Edward. Um, I'm going to go through all the places I have lived at, where I went to school and everything. Um, okay, um, I'll be back in the next part. Alright, well this is uh, before I went to 8th grade in Chaparral Middle School, I came to this school, um, Gaston Middle School, um, for 7th grade, and this is where I actually started um, joining the basketball team, I was pretty good, and it was awesome. Um, I used to, this is when I started, like, this school I started getting in, like, a little bit of trouble, me and my friends, like, doing stuff, like, getting in fights, um, teaching school, um, smoking, I was afraid smoking cigarettes, and stuff like that, and I started drinking and doing weed and all that, so, and, good memories here, next episode. Yeah, this is where I went to middle school uh, in 8th grade. I didn't go to 7th, but I went to 8th grade here. Um, this is where I was. I, I joined the basketball team. Of, um, I was a point guard. And I was pretty good at it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this was the first pizza place I, I ever had a job. I, I was 16 years old. It was called Benny J's Pizza. It was in Chaparral, New Mexico. Um, it, it, my boss um, showed me everything, how to make pizzas. I delivered, I made pizzas. I was a manager for him. It was awesome. And that's back back then I was drinking and smoking and doing drugs and all that. So um that's that's it. <laughs> I'll be back on my next episode. Uh, yeah, this is the store that used to sell me cigarettes when I was like fifteen years old. Pretty bad. But I kept them, that's what got me smoking cigarettes. Okay, for the next episode. This was the boringest ride ever going to middle school, seventh grade, and high school. Going over the mountain on the bus, the bus going all slow. It was the boringest ride.
it has a great view too, you can see the whole Antony. Yeah. yeah, um, this is, was um, the spot that we would always hang out when we would do some high school. So we would be the like, drum, smoking blunt, and just listen to music. It was a, it was a pretty, it brings back a lot of memories right now. <laughs> Yeah, this was the house, the first house I when I moved. I moved to Anthony, Anthony, Texas. This is the house I used to live in. It was alright. This was the second house I lived in um, in Anthony, Texas. Um, it was okay, but my house didn't get breaking in over here and. Even on this one too, this was the, the, I moved into this one after that. This one they broke in, took my um, Xbox 360, my Nintendo TV, off my PlayStation 2, and they took a lot of stuff, and that's the only reason we moved out. But, um, yeah, this was um, where my Pizza Pros in Anthony, Texas was. Um, I had it about like, about eight years. And, but I had to close it because the rent was like, I was paying like 2400 a month. And the town, like, it, like, it depends. Like, it's busy in the first of the month, the end of the month, it's dead. People don't have money. Um, but it was a pretty cool town. Um, let's see, um, um, me and my boyfriend, we did get robbed here, like, by gunpoint, like, two times. It was pretty scary. Um, they did catch the guys, it took them until like 5 in the morning, but at least they caught the guys and they went to jail. Um, but it was a pretty good um, business. Yeah, um, I used to live here. Um, when I ran out of here from high school, I moved out of my parents' house, I got this as my own apartment for my first one. It was pretty nice. I, lo I loved it here. It just, um, I, I, my, my, my best friend from high school, he was, um, he was in the army and he worked at Peter Piper's Pizza. I was just working at one pizza place. So uh, I'm, I kind of got another apartment because I ended up paying all the bills and he wasn't helping me bring in groceries and everything. So I moved to uh, in the same complex to another apartment and I just like get away from him because he was not helping me and he would like always party and all this so I would just always be at work with my late hours but there was a ride to be here and I'll show you the next one where I when they moved me from this part of the okay um, I'm back um, after so I, I left at my best friend from high school because he was helping me pay for all uh, rent I ran in the bills and everything. So they gave me another apartment system right here. And this is when I first met my, my boyfriend, George. And everything was doing good here. Um, the assaulting me and everything it wasn't really happening. We we're, were like very happy and everything. And it was a happy life <laughs> here. Um, The only thing we were doing was mostly like go to work, you work in the mornings, I worked afternoons. We worked at a pizza place, Great American Pizza, which is right here, it was right here on Main Street. Um, that's when we, we first met each other. And, and it's been a long time, 21 years, that's a long time. And 
So we wanted to drop down to a one bedroom, so I'm going to show you guys right now where my one bedroom is. So we kind of moved to another apartment in this complex here. I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, okay, this is the very last one. Um, this is the, the third apartment that me and my boyfriend, we, we dropped down to a one bedroom. And there was that one up there. It was, it was pretty cool. I liked it because the balcony was like right over the pool area. It was pretty cool. Um, everything was going okay. Like he started, like he would like you know t um, hit me or whatever, fight with me. And one time I just went into my room and it was pretty scary because I I was kind of mad at him because he did something to me and I slammed the bedroom door. And I slammed the bedroom door. The closet door just came down and hit me in the head. So my head was all like a water fountain spraying up blood, but I he took me to the hospital and everything. But uh, but everything else from there went pretty good. It was a pretty nice party. We moved from here to Anthony because um, our our job, Great American Pizza, moved over there. So but it was pretty nice over here, and and both of us, me and George, we both miss these, these apartments. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, this was the first apartment I lived in in the Northeast San Paso, uh, apartment 109. Um, it was alright. Um, only thing I, what I did like about it was not having a swimming pool. That's one bad thing. But there was always loud parties going on, so that's why I, um, me and my boyfriend George, we moved to these other ones that I'm going to show you right now. Um, but they were, they were okay. They were all right to start off for the Northeast. Thank you. Okay, uh, this was uh, after I left the Pie Village apartment. Uh, I came over to the Butterfield Trail apartment. I lived at 8C on top. Um, it was one bedroom, me and my boyfriend, George. One bedroom. And a lot of things happened here. <laughs> a lot of stuff. I'm going to get more in detail in other videos right now. But, uh, this was, it was alright, except for the first night we got the keys, um, we locked the keys inside the apartment, so we were stuck outside for like two hours waiting for our locksmith to come, <laughs> but, but it was, it, it was okay at this, this one, but we moved into a townhome, where I'm going to show right now, it, we wanted something bigger, and that's it I, I could say about this one. This one, this one was kind of too small, so we just moved to what I'm going to show you right now in town hall. It was a lot bigger and a lot more rumor for us. But, okay, um, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, um, well, this is my town home that I lived at, Upper 8C. Um, a lot of bad things happened with what my boyfriend has done to me. He assaulted me a whole bunch of times, and so it, it got me, like, wanting to got me into drinking really heavy because all the stress and everything and and I was smoking smoking cigarettes a lot and then um, he what he did he broke the, the dining window and he he threw me out the window and then I have I had um, cut me open right here right here and I had to get stitches he has gave me black eyes and it wasn't good I was good friends with the manager that works here, Tony, and he was always there for me, like, with all this stuff that my boyfriend is doing, because he's diabetic, but, um, very bad thing. You. I, and, it was pretty cool watching cowboy games inside and all that stuff, so, okay, uh, and, oh, and then I separated so when he pushed me out the window, he gave me those cuts. Tony, my, Tony, my friend, my best friend, that he moved me, he gave me, he let me get another apartment to where I could move away, have him stay here, and I went to this other one that I'm gonna show you right now. And, um, well, I, it was okay for a while, but he followed me back. <laughs> All right, now to the other one. One. Okay, um, this is the very last one I lived here at this apartment, apartment 90, and um, I, I 
really like the apartment, um, but a lot of stuff did happen in here when my, my roommate ended up coming back with me, my, my roommate, my boyfriend. stuff to me, hitting me, giving black eyes, like, and this is the one I started drinking really, really, really bad, and I, I was starting not caring about my life, and then it just happened to be, um, Saturday, January 28th, 2016, I was here at my apartment, my door open. I was washing dishes and I heard music across the street from my apartment. So I kind of like came out and I was like, where is it coming from? So I kind of went out and looked. I saw it was coming from the Door Christian Doors Christian Church. And I was like, oh okay that's that sounds pretty cool. So I, I, I walked I walked over there and that's when I first started going to church. I liked it a lot and it helped me help me um, stop drinking for like five months I haven't touched alcohol at all and I'm feeling better about myself like I don't need it I, that's one thing I don't, I don't need alcohol and so I got I got saved I got saved there and I got baptized it was very awesome and I mean, I guess if, if it wasn't for me going over there to church on that day, that I, I wouldn't have got saved. I would have been still doing the alcohol and everything. I mean, Jesus really changed a lot in my life, and I'm very happy about it. Um, and then, like, right be, and then, right, like, probably, like, in, I would say, February, someone messed with my... Buick's 2012 Buick and they did something they loosed up my lug nuts and I was driving down the road to go pick up my boyfriend from my, my pizza shop my tire came flying off and my axle my shock everything it was so scary but I'm so glad that's when I knew God was watching over me because I didn't have my seatbelt on when the car just like you know tires off so it kind of slides and if I did. If I was even going, I know I was going slow. If I was going fast, I would have thrown out of the, the windshield. So I, I know God was watching over me, and it's a very scary feel, feeling to go through something like that. But yeah, um, I do miss this apartment. But now I moved to a, a better place, and this is a lot better. And that's it. Um, thank you. Hi, uh, this is my uh, my pizza shop, uh, Pizza Bros. Uh, my this one's been open for about 13 to 15 years, and I'm sober and clean, and my business is awesome right now. Um, I'm proud of it, and just keep up to uh, for me to keep up the good work of what I'm doing. Thank you. Born. Yeah, this is the church I, I go to um, that I got saved on January 30th, 2016. Um, I also got baptized here and it showed me how um, showed me how it opened up my eyes to, to see, uh, see God and to see all the bad things that I um, was going on in my past. And I'm just happy that I'm still going to church. Got, um, I'm not drinking no more. And all the bad things I did in my past, I'm clean. I don't do, do anything anymore. Thank God.